Hello UK fans, Bada Rance here, and welcome to the first episode with Shiri Nui Synchro Fusionist. And we're playing on Salvation as it's the only server which you have a way of changing the time limits, at least what I've found, which I can turn it to 12 minutes, which is awesome. Because that's that's the maximum I generally need. I can do it in, in under eight under nine minutes, which is good. But um, 12 minutes in case my monologuing gets a bit out of hand. So this is a pretty lovely opening, level eater with um, Gothu. Unfortunately, I don't have a hyper librarian, which would have made that even better. It really would have done. So let's, oh, we can summon the hyper librarian, but we don't get any plus from that. Okay, level eater wasn't that good. <laughs> I didn't realize that um, that shit wouldn't do shit. Okay, that's a bit of annoying. Bit of annoying then. So let's go Excel Synchron, Set Jet Synchron, modify its level to 6. Go use Jet Synchron's ability, send Global to the graveyard, some Jet Synchron. Global, um, not Global. Level Eater, reduce the level to 5, summon Level Eater. Now we can do Style Char Charge Warrior and that kind of shit. But we don't have a level 4, which is really annoying. We really wanted a level 4. We really did. We are normal summoned. That could be what we need. So I'm gonna go for Coral Dragon. Because that's more likely to get me a level 4 than anything. Level Eater, Modulate, Summon. Level Eater, Summon. Stylish Charge Warrior. Draw 2 cards. Which is absolutely awesome. Awesome indeed, perfect support for Synchro decks. Level 4 inbound. S normal summon that Shiva Yuki, Synchro Shuriken, TG Hyper Librarian. And we still got Global and we've still got Level Eater. So we're gonna get two more draws here. We got a Synchro Vision in Graveyard, which is alright. Level modulate this. Okay, actually, maybe shouldn't level modulate him to be fair. I think I should have gone for my hyper librarian. Eh. You can you can still do this if you even if you just mess up the levels a little bit. Yet yeah, Synchro Fu Brilliant Fusion is still live, which is great. Trick Clown and Lazuli. That means I have to make a Yazzie with this. Which is a bit of a nice. But I can work with it. I can work with it. We need a level one. I can easily bring out a level one with Italy. Which is good. So synchro with my status charge warrior for Yazzie. Draw one card. Desynchro, I could do it again, but I don't get much plus from that. So I'm gonna Italy summon my recover. That's gonna mean I can summon out Baxia. Then if I want to, I can use Baxia's ability. Cause I might as well summon Baxia out of this to be fair. Cause I can't summon Baxia out of any other root. Reasoning. Ooh. Ooh. We need a level 3. There needs to be a tuna. No, mm, can't see a level 3 tuna. Not from what I can see. Hmm. Summon Synchro Fusion, this doesn't give me anything. It needs to be a tuna, to be fair. Very much, it needs to be a tuna. I need Unis on me here. Um. Yes. Yeah. No, you can't have a turn. Who says they want a turn? This is this is Yu-Gi-Oh man. You don't have a turn. I don't even have the hyper librarian. Chrome fusionist. And it's twelve minute clock, so ah, uh, yeah, you, you realize what this is now. I'm gonna have to get an extra draw. Gonna have to. <laughs> I'll go get lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I, I love that reaction actually. Maybe when I get back, I'll have a turn. It's possible, it's really possible. Okay, I'm gonna go for Omega because I need to clear my board. I feel sorry for anyone who got to go through this, but... Uh, this is this is really fun. Oh, he's playing Blue Eyes! That's awesome! I hope he doesn't Rage Quit. I really hope he doesn't. Because I really want to have some of the Blue Eyes with this. Because it's actually a pseudo-mare deck at this point. So that's awesome. 
The last two duels I had were against Battle and Boxer and... I can't remember what the other one was actually. Gladio Base, that's the one. Oh my god, he hits the level 4! I mean... That is... That, that's... That's... Annoying. It's really annoying. Okay, I don't, can't do shit with that. Can't do shit with that. Got a level 1 tuner in there, haven't I? Good. Recover. Level Eater first though. We'll modify Seraphonite so it's easier to tune with. Slightly. Maybe a mistake, you never know. I could do another mistake. So I'm gonna recover. Let's go Farmal Synchron. And get that extra draw. And still... Oh, we can't. We don't have the ability to do Trish, I was gonna say. Um, draw 2. Shirinui Sage. And it's a normal summonable monster. Sweet. This is... This is sweet. So, let's go Shirinui Sage. Shirinui Sage... Effect contribute itself, summon at the Unizombie from the deck. Unizombie can then send Mizuki to the graveyard to go get some of that Cypher and Lord Omega. Then we have the option to revive a level 3 or a level 4 at whatever time we need, which is absolutely br brilliant. So cool as to Quasar, yeah, you can make Quasar in these kind of decks, but I found it's a little more, less consistent because I would like to do a Quasar version, but. I don't think the consistency would be right. I wonder if he actually has the ability to basically kill us with that hand he had. We'll find out. We will find out. You zombie gonna send... I'm gonna say level eater. Yeah, I'm gonna go with level eater. Modify your level. Send level eater to the graveyard. Synchro shocking for our Cypher and Mega number 3. And hope that we get an insta fusion. Nope, that's a Synchro Fusion Ist. Although we got, I forgot to test Nogu in, in this extra deck. We do, but we have nothing to sync with it. We can still make Trish. We need a level 4. Yeah, that can work. That can definitely work. So, Omega is not going to tag out. We're going to use Level Eater's effect. Reduce the level of Cypher and Omega. So we now level 3. Synchro Shock and Tatsunoko. Because Tatsunoko is awesome. It's absolutely adorable. It's a baby version of the um, Coral Dragon, which is cute. Oh, Soul Charge. Where have you been all my life? Where have you been all my life? Um, now we should be able to go for... Okay, what's the option here? I've got Trish. Oh, no. No, I don't want to sync with my Hyper Librarian. I'd rather draw my deck, to be fair. I need a level 4, and I can do that with my Shiryuki. Shiryuki is brilliant in this deck, to be fair. Because, literally, it does so much. You can summon it many times during the duel, and that's just brilliant reasoning. Um, don't want to get rid of Yazi. Yazi is actually brilliant in this position, because I could go back to here. I definitely could go back to here. I've got a level eat in there as well. Go for, the, go for the Brilliant Fusion. Go for Shira Yuki. Now I can go for Trish. Synchro Shogun, Synchro Fusionist. Go for Trish. Synchro Fusionist. Synchro Fusionist effects. And we should be able to hit the Gospel of Revival. That was a great card that he would have wanted. That's a good that looks like a really good hand. And I I hit another Instafusion. That is just my luck. Omega tag out hitting Dragon's Mirror. Um do we have the option? We do have the option to go Trish again if we summon back Baxia and a level 1. No, that's uh, Yazi and a level 1. And then we can bring out Baxia, put back the. Um, where's level 1 2 now? Put back the Trish and then do it all over again. Because, you know, that's so awesome. But I need a level 1 2 now. That's the only problem I'm seeing here. Do I have an option for level 1 2 now? Synchro Shokan. Baxia, Synchro Fusionist, and Baxia's effect. Put back the Trishula. And we drew Brilliant Fusion again. Really? Why do we draw the Brilliant Fusion? Oh, we can destroy level one, summon at level 1, can't we? Okay, Norden, we can do this shit. We, we've won. We've, um, not, well, we haven't won. We've done our lock. This is what we want. Get the Shiryuki back. Awesome level 4 that we just do so much with. 
use level eats effect to modify the Baxia to level 7. Baxia's effect destroy that, summon out the globe orb that was used to summon it. And go double Trish without the synchro. Because, you know, we're like that. I had a choice between um, getting rid of Ancient Fairy Dragon or Baxia. Oh, desynchro again. Oh, set this brilliant fusion. Set this brilliant fusion. And we have no extra deck. We're playing no extra deck Monarchs now. Top deck. Go on. Let's see. Let's see if he can. Hope he doesn't just quit, because that would be a bit of a pain, painful thing. But we're going to get two Omegas back. So if he doesn't draw a defense or a Regeki, he. Well, if he draws Regeki, he still loses the storm. Because we'll be able to normal summon a monster with three Omegas on board. So there is really. Uh, there's really not much you can draw against this when you have zero cards on board, zero in your graveyard, and most of them are banished. It's not like Cosmo, they can just add back, and if you left one in hand, they're really. They have the possibility to get that star again. That star on the ball, which is very painful. Uh, although we may take forever, depending if he's going to wait out this. Just make me wait as much as I made him wait. It's just a possibility, but it's 12 minutes on the time, and that's the only problem I've seen with this. You could have a p position where your opponent may want to just stop a time. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> uh, he's, he's a good spot about this. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I want to see. I want to know what this is. Oh, he drew his Chaos Max. Oh, that's painful. That's painful indeed. Omega, Omega, and then Omega again. I wonder if we got rid of Omega from the Banishment Zone. If he would, do, would gain its effect again. But GG, good spot on you. Very much enjoyed that. But then again, it's Synchro Fusion. If you're going to have full control of a duel, you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you do Synchro Fusionists. With the newest support, with Blackwing Value, the Shirinui support, the new uh, Brilliant Fusion target, so we don't need to run Ghost Over anymore, which doesn't excel our game any further. It's a little free but low free tuner but that's about it we've got a low free tuner in the form of unit zombie that we should revive basically like an e-telly which is awesome and yeah so yeah thank you for watching please like subscribe join us and want to see further content if you want to see more wishing for futures please let me know let me know back down below in the comments because i don't know if you guys will enjoy seeing futures to be fair because it's just basically me ending the game in two turns and yeah, uh, please like, subscribe, uh, it. Yeah, if you want to see when I'm streaming, the link to it's in my Facebook page, is in the description below. Thank you for watching. Matarans signing out.